So this just happened. The crib um, moved out of our bedroom because um, Brian is working downstairs and the area is really loud. So when baby sleeps, it's going to be a crazy hot mess and he's going to wake up every time we pound on the wall. And um, we decided to move the crib into this room over here. Um, it doesn't fit. So we have to uh, disassemble it and then put it in there and then reassemble. But anyways, bittersweet moment. Um, but he has to move on to his room and be on his own. Let's check up on him. He's just chilling. Hi. So you can hear a lot of noise from down here. So definitely upstairs. It's gonna make even more ruckus. Cause it's right here. This is where baby is sleeping in my room. And uh, we're breaking down this wall and making this into another room. This hubby still going at it. Hello. And uh, we got all this mess right here. So we have to level the um, flooring because this one's much lower than the house. So we have to rise it up. We could do concrete, but Brian wanted to do wood instead. He says it's easier, but I don't know. So you can see that the flooring for the house is much higher, so you gotta level it and make sure that it's the same. Or else you'll trip and fall. And it's tricky because over there it's much lower and over here it's higher, so it's like a slope. And concrete, when you lay it, you can kind of like flatten it and level it out easy, but Brian had to like figure out with all the all these wood and do it that way. For now, I put him in his crib because the bed is uh, not in the room yet, but he's slowly going down, putting up a good fight. I think he's down. Okay, okay, we are on our way and the car is nicely protected because we did it last night. Let me show you guys again in case you guys missed it from yesterday's vlog. But here it is, covered up here and cover back there as well. Okay, it's held up by these clips right here. And you know, you kind of stick it into the, yeah, like that, see? Boom. Now, let's, uh, See if the sun, yeah, I feel like the sun is not in his face, see? Yes, mama's happy, happy mama. Okay, here, you go, go play with this, or you can play with this, huh? Yeah, put it here. Okay, so look at that. If you look close, there's no sun hitting him, so mama's happy, even though it's like really hot out right now, see? sun is beaming. Underneath here, it has like the um, reflector. reflector, so it's going to reflect the sun away. Yeah. Once again, there it is, see? And you just tuck it in. Loves. You guys want to buy this for your Tesla? Check out my Amazon storefront. Okay, so um, we are here in Pasadena at Cameron's restaurant at a drive through meeting that Brian has to go through go to <laughs> we thought we were gonna go through but looks like he has to go out there and check in or something huh what do you think yeah get our food yeah so we thought this was a drive through meeting get your food how would you talk uh. anyways um baby's asleep and um Hopefully he, he does a good um, 20 more minutes. He's been sleeping for 20 minutes. So I'm hoping a little longer. He slept earlier today, a good 30 minutes. So 
<clears throat> trying to uh, rack up as much time as much as I can. Um, this place, if you guys are in the area, don't put a carrot cake. They are known. They're not known for it. They're actually known no. for seafood. It's a really good one. But oh, can you uh, turn on dog mode? Yeah. But or just turn on. Carrot cake is just the best here. Like it's so delicious. It's we have to try it. Anyways, um, hubby dragged me out here just to get some meals in the car. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like my home cooked meals, but he's part of this uh, organization, and so they usually meet here and meet in there and talk about um, their engineering work or whatever, and then um, figure things out that way. But now that we have COVID, everyone has to do social distancing, so they said this was a drive through event meeting, but I don't see no drive through Like, people are just standing outside and not, not six feet apart. It's more like socializing. Yeah, so. Be careful out there. It's just crazy. It's getting crazier and crazier. The numbers are getting up for COVID, but I think America, people are just done and over it. They're like, we need to get out. We are a free country, so people feel the need to just be free. Unlike the third world countries, you know, China, Vietnam, everyone has to like lock down because government is more of a communist situation. So they, they buckle down, which is better because they're reopening and they're fine. But for us, we're, we're having a surge and people are just not wearing masks. Or they wore, or they wore a mask with like like super see through like stockings or like a net that's not really a mask but yeah i mean yeah you have um you have to kind of you know protect each other it's like wearing a seatbelt you know what i mean it's required by law to wear a seatbelt and mask is to protect other people and people just turned it into some political thing about freedom and such and science says that mask is is like really helpful at least a good 70% of the time yeah at first it was kind of like okay are you sure we should wear a mask and it was kind of like unsurreal so we weren't taking it seriously so it was that but then it got worse so we have to really understand and acknowledge that the mask is something that we should all do together as a whole in order to fight this this crazy disease that's going around to attack everyone america is done with covid but covid is not done with america and you just wait the longer we fight this and not work together as a team as a united group gonna get worse and we're not going to be able to do the things we want to do soon it's gonna be much later I guess this is their meeting here he comes hey so is it a drive through meeting or is it in person? <laughs> Are you done? Well, I guess it's kind of in person, but we have to wait. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. They're going to wait around. They're like, uh, you have a kid. You don't have to wait around. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we should go home, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay, we're home now, and baby's having his meal. We got steak from the restaurant and um, a halibut, um, some veggies, Rice. I don't know why Brian is ordering rice, but okay. Uh, we got clam chowder, um, salad, and cheesecake, and the best carrot cake right there. Okay. That one's good. One of the tea. Ryan's joining us for lunch, and he's having these steamed veggies, broccoli, carrots, and um, zucchini. Also, we're gonna give him this in a moment. Wild rumpus avocado. All right, so I ate the food already. Um, halibut was kind of stinky. Steak was not as good as mine, you know, just 
I'm gonna put it out there. <laughs> Veggies were delicious. Scoops can, um, look at him, he's like, yes. Look at him, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you clapping your hands? I taught him that this morning. Yeah, clap your hands. <laughs> clap your hands like this. There you go. Clap your hands. There you go. <laughs> Actually, that's his first time doing it. I taught him this morning. He wasn't sure what I was doing. I just kept bringing his hands together and he wouldn't do it. But no, I, that's literally his first time. His first time walking, I've seen snippets here and there, but it's not like, it's like one step he falls and we don't really know what's considered first step, but we'll take it as, you know, from the other day. Anyways, that was first time clapping your hands. For sure. Anyways, we just had the cheesecake. It's okay. It's not like amazing, but um, it's all right. Now the heavenly carrot cake. Mm. As you remembered. It's delicious. I just feel like they have a good amount of like walnuts, <clears throat> carrots, and cream, and um. It's not too soft and not too hard, I would say. It has a good texture. And um, it doesn't have raisins. I do not like raisins in my carrot cake. That's just, no. But here, Brian, let me get this camera. Let me, let me catch you. How's it? Oh yeah. Right? I mean, we didn't even the get to the nuts. we've ever had. Yes. Ever. I mean, sprinkles is pr pretty good too. I'm not gonna lie. This but is sprinkles doesn't have the texture like this. Yeah, this is like cake. Mm -hmm. So good. Two best scoops you can have until you two. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Dun 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 dun. dun. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Dun 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 dun. dun. So clap your hands. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> Not yet? You wanna do it once? You're good? Okay, okay. Mama Min is wearing baby right now because he's super, super fussy around me. And I've been taking care of him all day because daddy's doing the garage and I can't help him because it's dusty out there. So being around me, he's just so needy and so like, Mom! He's not like that with his dad. He's always like, you know, on his own. With mom, he's just super like, get it. Check up on Brian. He's cleaning out the area. And then setting it up again. So just me and baby went for a walk. A couple laps and we're back. Brian's still working. Trying to figure things out. How are you, honey? Scoopy! How are you? Mm. See that whining face? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we have moved into this area, except he's refusing to come into this proximity. So I'm trying to lure him with some toys. So he's just thinking about it. Thinking about it. Not sure, but I'm thinking about it. How come? <laughs> so needy. Nope, he doesn't want to. He's like, forget it. You, you go by yourself. Bye. Mm. It's 8.59 and baby is down. I've never seen him so tired. He just went down without a peep. Just, okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> and Mama Min just made dinner. We got cucumber salad and Korean barbecue. Bon appetit. Brian's still working. 
so he's probably not gonna eat. Let's check up on him. Yep, at least we're getting somewhere. It's level. Brian, dinner? Okay. What time is it now? 9.30. It's the end of the night, and my husband looks super burnt. Look at his nose and his cheeks. He was in the sun, working hard, and um, somehow the sun got him. Mm. Anyways, um, we are hanging out here for a moment. And then, Chill. This is their only time to hang out because his baby. I, I mean, seriously, Brian has it much easier than me. Like, seriously, much easier because Brian just he does this, and baby just understands. Okay, you're not gonna pick me up. With mom, it's like you won't pick me up, or all hell breaks loose. And it was like that today. It was, it was pretty brutal. I just sat, I just sat there and watched him. And when we left the room, he just cried for half an hour. I'm like. Dude, you don't do this wrong with dad. What's going on? I don't give him no booby. Anyways, I'm pretty bad. I get booby from like 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. straight. I don't even stop. If you think I'm exaggerating, Brian. Mm -hmm. I don't. I just give it to him and he just uses that as me as a pacifier. And then he goes nap and then I give him again at like 12 to 3 and he naps and then like 6 to freaking 9. Just call it. Just. Anyways, um, so, cause Brian's taking care of the um, downstairs right now, I can't help him. I usually do, it's just me and Brian, but we have a baby now, so somebody's gotta take care of baby while Brian does the um, dirty work. And um, sometimes I feel like I should do the dirty work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cause geez, baby is just like, he just wants me, and and I I wanna I wanna like hold him, but I feel like I can't hold him that much. He's so heavy. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm really really tired today. I didn't sleep for the past like literally three days. I know normally I say it all the time, but the past three days have been pretty brutal. So hopefully I'll be sleeping tonight. It's with um, help from some grapes or something like that. AKA wine. Good night, Brian. Good mm. job, good job.